I thank you, Father. I thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I just come to give you all the glory and all the honor, Father, because you are worthy, Jesus. Oh, God, I come to bless your name, Father. Hallelujah, God, because you are worthy, Jesus. Oh, God, I just want to say thank you, Father, for what you have done and what you're about to do for your people, God. Oh, God, I thank you for your anointed, Jesus. And I thank you for the Holy Spirit that leads and guides me. Oh, God, I just thank you, God. Oh, Lord, I pray right now, Father, that if there's anything I've done, knowingly and unknowingly, God, that will hinder me from getting a word through to you, huh, I bind and I rebuke it and I cast it back into the pits of hell right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, God, be over your people right now in the mighty name of Jesus, oh, God. Oh, God, you say we have not because we ask not, Father. Oh, God, I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, oh, God, that if there's any covenant that I have made with the enemy, God, I break it right now in the name of Jesus because my covenant, Lord God, is with you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, God, I just come to magnify you right now, God. Lord, I come to exalt you, Lord God. Oh, God, I just want to reverence you right now, God, because you're worthy, Jesus. You're worthy, God. You're worthy, God. Oh, God, I pray right now, God, that this flesh will stand down and that the Holy Spirit will rise up and speak to your people, oh, God. And I pray that this word will reach whom it needs to reach, oh, God. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, I call on your name because I know it's power in the name of Jesus. Lord God, you said in the name of Jesus, demons will flee, yokes will be destroyed, strong walls will be torn down in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, have your way, have your way. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. All glory and honor goes to God. All glory and honor goes to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Use me, God, in a way that you see fit. Mm. I am your open vessel, God. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you, God, that you say weeping men do it for a night, but joy cometh in the morning light. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Oh, you guys, I got a word huh? Mm, for somebody. Mm. I think I feel like this word is going to apply to a lot of people in a lot of different ways. Hallelujah. As always, you want to take this word to God in prayer and ask God, is he speaking to you? Yes, Shanda. Ask the Lord, is he speaking to you? Thank you, Father. Hashata. Thank you, God. Mm. I got uh, some scriptures here, guys, that you will find down in a description box. I try to make sure that I, I place them there for you all to find. The first one is coming from 1 Thessalonians 5, chapter 5, 16 through 18. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Okay, this was Paul speaking. Mm, I'm going to say this again. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. You hear that? Pray without ceasing. Okay? Pay attention. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all, in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Mm, the Holy Spirit is getting ready to speak to somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah, he's getting ready to speak. Thank you, Father. Mm, thank you, Lord. And this came in my spirit, guys, because, you know, I read the emails and I read the comments and I just see so much of hurt and pain. Mm, 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I see that a lot of you guys, your heart has been shattered. Mm. Some of you have been through with losing loved ones and you know, you're struggling with different addictions and you've had family member to walk out your life. Mm. But I'm here to tell you today. Mm. And this is from my experience, guys. This is just not talking. OK, this is from experience. Can I tell you today that you can have peace in a storm? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. See, I know right now you're some of you guys are in a furnace. Mm. And it's like the, the, the fire is seven times hotter than it normally would be. Hey, shit, tell you, I'm speaking to somebody. Mm. And some of you reaching out to people, to different ministries for help. And you're, you're crying out for help. Lord, I need help. Somebody please help me. Somebody please pray for me. See, I know because I've been there. Ha, shot time. Mm. And it, 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 it seemed like I wasn't getting no help from nobody. Oh, God. I didn't understand what was what was going on, what God was allowing to happen to me. Okay. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. But I was being pressed. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, shot I was being shaken. Ha, shot You see, the Lord had to shake some things out of me. Mm, he had to press some things out of me. Ha, shot He had to turn the fire up seven times hotter. Mm, see, I was being molded. Into what he wanted me to be. Mm, and still God is still shaking. And he's moving some things around. And he's doing some things. But guys can I tell you. I've learned how to have peace. In the midst of the storm. And I'm going to share with you today. How I learned how to have peace. In the midst of the storm. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. After going through being rejected. By family members. Okay. Didn't have nowhere to go. Don't shed in my face. Oh, I pray for you. Yeah, I want y'all to hear me. I'm speaking to somebody today. Yeah, you don't have doors shed in your face by family members. Oh, I pray for you. We can't help you. No, how did I go by shot? And some of you, you just felt hurt. You felt rejected. Some of you have had um 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 loved ones, maybe a, a, a significant other, a fiance to just walk away and abandon you and just leave you. Mm. And you felt rejected. Mm, 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 mm. But can I just tell you, you was rejected by man. But some of you guys are called by God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you have been called out of your name and and, 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 and talked down on. Ha, shot. I can relate to that too. Yeah, I can call some things. Ha. But see what they call me. Didn't define who I am and who God says I am. I want you to hear what I'm saying. See, it's, it's what you answer to and that defines you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I say it's what you answer to that defines who you are. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. See, some of you guys are being refined. I'm going to say this again. Some of you guys are being refined. Impurities. See, when, when you look up refine, let me tell you what you're going to find. Okay, let me share a little bit. Refine is the removing of, of impurities and unwanted elements. Mm -mm 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 -mm. See, God is refining you. Oh, yeah, I want you to hear what I'm saying. The Lord is refining you. Okay, some of you have been rejected on jobs. You put your all in it, your everything, and it just seems like they don't see you. Okay, they're looking at everybody else that may have way less than experience than you have. Okay, but here you are with all this education, all this experience, but you have been overlooked and dismissed. Thank you, Father. You have been overlooked and dismissed. Can you, can I, can I tell you something? Hallelujah. Mm. God allowed you. He's allowing you to be in that place for a reason. Oh, I'm speaking to somebody today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all you guys where doors have got shed. Some of you guys bit got terminated wrongfully on these jobs and, and, and got um, fired. Okay, but can I just tell you, it was all in God's perfect plan for your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because if I hadn't have been through what I've been through, I wouldn't be sitting here today before you guys. Okay, it was doors had to be shed in my face. Oh, I had to be rejected. By some of my closest family members mm, that say they love me. Oh, I love you. I'm here for you. 
Oh, I got your back. In a minute, door shut in my face. They had my back, all right. Mm -hmm. Oh, they had my back. Mm. Like I said in my last video, they were so far back. I couldn't see where they was at. Nobody want to be bothered. See, when it's like you, you, you're going through mm, and you in a storm, you'll see people that say, oh, I'm here for you. I'm a ride or die. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden they start to die away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But can I tell you that God allowed that to happen? Because where he getting ready to take you at? These people that left you cannot go with you. Oh, I'm speaking to somebody today. Uh-huh. You wonder, you don't understand, and, and some of you feel like you're going to lose your mind. Oh, yeah. I see the, 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 the suicidal uh -huh, spirits. I see, I see you suicidal spirits, but I come to renounce and denounce you today. Ha, sha, ta. I come to send you in agony and pain and chaos and in confusion. I come to send you backwards on fire. Go to hell and catch fire right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Ha. Mm -hmm. Some of you feel like you're losing your mind, like your mind is slipping away. You don't know whether you're coming or going. Mm -hmm. But can I tell you, he's a mind restorer. Mm -hmm. See, I know him to be a mind restorer. Because see, I watched him restore my daughter mind. Hallelujah. Can I just tell you that he is Jehovah Jireh. He's a provider. Because I watch him provide for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ha, shata. With no job. Hallelujah. Just depending on him alone. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, can I tell you that he's a healer? He healed me on my deathbed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Can I tell you that he's a deliverer? He delivered me from my enemies. Oh, God, I just thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Can I tell you today that you are not alone? Though it may feel like it. Though when you look around, it may look like it. But can I tell you that God haven't left you, that he's there. He will never leave you. Never, ever, never, ever, never, ever will he will leave you. And nor will he forsake you. And nor will your seed beg it bread. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you something. I done been in that place reaching out for help, crying out for help. And it's like nobody heard me. What I didn't understand is I had to go through the process. Mm -hmm. I had to go through the shaking, the pressing, the molding. The sculpting. And I'm still going through some things. God is not done with me yet. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm speaking to somebody today. God is not done with you yet. Hallelujah. Though you feel like this is this may be your portion, but I'm here to tell you that what you're going through is not your portion. Hallelujah. You are just in a process. Thank you, Father. And let me tell you what he said. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Stay with me, guys. Stay with me. I got a scripture for you. Thank you, Father. And we are going to James chapter 1, verse 12. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trials because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Persevere. You hear that? Persevere. Press on. Hold on to God on changing hands. See, people, family members, uh-huh. Loved ones, they'll change on you. They'll switch out on you. Mm. Some of them said that they would be by your side forever, that they'll never leave you. They were going to love you forever. And they just walked out of your life like you was nothing. Left you lost and confused. Hot shot. But can I tell you about somebody that'll never leave you, nor would he forsake you? Can I just tell you about this man named Jesus? Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. His name is Jesus. Hot shot. And he's waiting for you right now with open arms. Oh, God. Hot shot. Mm. If you're just surrender and just trust in him mm. and just lean on him, don't be so quick to, to, to get mad and angry about people that left you. See, it was good for you. Mm -hmm. The Lord said it was necessary. Hallelujah. See, they couldn't go where God was getting ready to take you. God didn't allow them to see who you really were in his kingdom. OK, he blinded them to that. OK, and you can understand you, I'm doing all this and then they just don't see me. They, they just don't see me. Lord, I just I, I, I just want them to, to love me, Lord. I know because I've been there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Why? Where I just I was doing in and everything and I just wanted them to 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 to, to love me. And, and I found myself losing myself. Oh, shut up. I'm speaking to somebody today. I felt myself losing myself. Oh, shut up. OK, because I wanted it so bad. You ever just want something so bad? But can I tell you guys today that God changed that? Hallelujah. 
Mm. I've never been in a place where I felt so thirsty for the Lord. Like he can't give me enough. Like I just want more and I just want more. Lord, give me more. Fill me up. Jesus, fill me up. God, hallelujah. Fill me up. Jesus, fill me up. God, uh, thank you, Jesus. Ha, shot, ha. He just gave me like this burning fire on the inside. Ha, where it's hard for me to be quiet. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because when I think about the goodness and all that God has done for me and where he's brought me from out of that deep down dirty pit. Where I wanted to, to kill myself. Where it felt like I was losing my mind. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But Lord, let that mind that is in you bear me also. Stabilize my mind, Jesus. Because a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Thank you, Father, for not giving up upon me, God. Thank you, Jesus, for not turning your back on me when everybody else left, left me, God. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. For having ear to my cry, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your unconditional and merciful love. Oh, God, I just thank you today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you, God, that where I am is not my portion, Jesus. See, I've made up my mind to trust God in the midst of the storm. I made up my mind to trust God no matter when, when, when all hell is breaking loose, no matter when it, what it looked like. See, I'm able to sleep at night. Because I've learned to not trust in me and what I could do in my ability, but the trust, trust in God and what he could do is no limit. Hear what I'm saying to what God could do. Thank you, Jesus. And I want to share something with you guys that happened to me this week. Okay. I was talking to the Lord and I say, Lord, I need some things. Ha, shata. I'm getting ready to speak to somebody, somebody going through financially. I say, Lord, I need some things, Father. I say, and you say you are my provider, Jehovah Jireh. I'm calling on you right now. Ha, shata. Thank you, Lord. I'm speaking to somebody right now. The Holy Spirit said, I said, I need some things from the store. And I began to talk to him. He said, get dressed and go to the store. I say, Lord, I don't have money to go to the store. The only thing I had was $20. Okay. He said, I want you to get dressed and go to the store. You're going to get everything you need. Mm, I'm speaking to somebody right now. It's called crazy faith. I began to get dressed. I took my shower. I put on my clothes. And before I could get in a parking lot at the store, ching, 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 ching. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Money was in my account. Hey, shot I'm speaking to somebody. I was able to get everything I need and with extra ha shata. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Because see, where I am is not my portion. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you. See, I've learned to praise God in the midst of the storm. Hallelujah. Mm. I can remember one night getting up with one eye open the other eye closed, going to the bathroom. Okay? And, and you want to hurry up and use the bathroom and wash my hands and get back in the bed. And let me tell you, before I went to walk and before I could touch my bed, I had my, my praise and worship music on low but before I could get to my bed it's like something when I went to touch my bed to get in at 3 a.m. in the morning something hit me guys and threw me back oh, shut up. thank you Lord it was like a powerful force here I am 3 o'clock in the morning just praising and worshiping God and just giving God the glory and the honor oh shut up. I'm speaking to somebody oh yeah I was like David and I was just praising God and I was just worshiping God in spirit and in truth because he said we must worship him in spirit and in truth so you got to be able to worship him in the midst of the storm mm -hmm. you got to be when it hurt and it don't feel good worship and praise him anyway be like Daniel. Pray until you get an answer. Hallelujah. Pray until you get an answer. I'm speaking to somebody. Don't just fast one or two times. If, if it don't work out, go back and do it again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. But can I tell you, in, in doing that, God was getting ready to do some things for me. Mm -hmm. It was some doors he opened up that can't no man shut. Thank you, Father. It was doors that he opened up and little did I know what he was getting ready to do. See, when the Holy Spirit put, put you in that place in, in isolation where it feel like you all alone, just know you're not alone. You got an army behind you. OK, it may look like it in your fleshly eyes that you're alone. It may look like you ain't going to make it. Ha, shot. I'm speaking to somebody. It may look like your fire is gone because so much is going on. But can I tell you that fire is still there. Hallelujah. It's not gone anywhere. That the Lord is with you. Mm -hmm. And can I tell you today that he's listening and he hear everything you saying. Thank you, Jesus. But I just want to tell you guys today that my affliction was good for me. Thank you, Father. It was good for me. Thank you, Jesus. I'm speaking to somebody. Your affliction, don't dismiss it so quick because it's good for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See, I wouldn't be able to sit here with all the testimonies that I sit here before you guys today 
Okay? If it wasn't for my affliction, your affliction is going to be a blessing to somebody else. And not only to them, but it's going to bless you too. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. See, God is shutting doors because he's He's pushing you. You are being pushed. Okay? Because he has to do that to a lot of you guys because when he speak and he call you, you won't move on your own. So then he started to shut doors. That's what he did. He started to shut doors on me. I was being pushed. And I couldn't understand why I was being pushed. The Lord was preparing me. He was preparing me for this moment. You know, and I wasn't hearing what no prophets had to say about me going into ministry or ministry waiting. I wasn't hearing that because this is what wasn't what I wanted to do. Okay? But what I've learned in this journey, ha shata, I'm getting ready to speak to somebody. Okay, that my life is not my own. Mm, I'm speaking to you right now today. Uh huh. Your life is not your own. See, you want to go east, but God is calling you to go west. Hallelujah. Mm, many of the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord plans that will prevail. It's his plans that's going to stand over us. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory. And I thank you right now, God, that your plan stood over mine. Oh, I thank God. See, I've learned how to be quiet. And be still and know that God is God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, I just thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. I'm going to stop right here, guys. I just pray in my heart that this message be a blessing to somebody. Because I just see so many of you guys hurting and going through. And it break my heart when I sit because I've been there. I've been, been in a place where I felt rejected and suicidal. And lost and confused like nobody heard me. Okay? I want you guys to know that I'm standing in prayer with you. That, that you are not alone. Most of all, oh, God is with you. His angels is surrounding you. Those people he had to move out the way. Understand. He had to put you in a place where you are. It may not make sense right now. But as time go by, as the older people used to say, by and by, you'll understand why. Hear what I'm saying. You'll understand why. But guys, I just want to say thank you. To all my subscribers, Mwah. I love you guys. I just want to say thank you for all the likes and even the comments. Guys, let me know where you guys are coming in from. You know, I've seen people from different places all over the world. Just put briefly, you know, where you from, your location, where you from. If you're from Georgia and yeah, I mean, New Jersey, wherever, out the country, put your location. Okay, guys. Um, I, and I want to say thank you to you guys for all the donations for Blessing This Ministry. I pray that God will bless you all, everybody in this ministry. I pray that 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 God will bless you all a hundred folds in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay? I pray that seeds are planted within you. I pray that God will give you a burning fire in the name of Jesus that you can't put out, that this world can't put out, that only God Hashata can put out. Thank you, Father. I pray that God will give you a burning fire for him and a thirst that this world cannot quench. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All glory and honor goes to God. I give you all glory and all honor, Lord. And um, it seemed like something else I wanted to say real quick. I want to give my invitation. Okay, really quick. Um, the sinner's prayer. If you're ready to get saved and you're ready to give your life to Christ, you might as well. Some of you have tried everything. You might as well give Jesus a try. Why not? He's waiting for you with open arms. Okay, and um, if you say this prayer after me, this would be your first step with Jesus. You'll be saved. He don't care about where you've been at. There is no what if and what about what you've done. He don't care about that's irrelevant right now. All that is irrelevant. Okay, he said he'll wipe your slate clean and give you a brand new start. He's not like people. Okay, he will give you a brand new start. Thank you, Father. Repeat after me, dear Lord Jesus. I know that I am a sinner. And I ask for your forgiveness. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel like somebody's going to get saved today. Thank you, Father. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. If you have said this prayer, you are saved. Mm -hmm. No looking back. We're going forward from this day on. Just like you are. He's not calling you to change or fix nothing. You come in just like you are. Okay? Just like you are. He wants you. That's how much he loves us. Thank you, God, for your unconditional love for us. God bless you guys. God bless. God bless. God bless. I love you guys.